Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jade Langton Evans, photographer and filmmaker. I'm based in Oswald Street, Shropshire. And over the last few months now, I've wanted to share something a little bit deeper about photography and about why photographs are really important. And so over the last few weeks, I felt really inspired to start writing a lot of things down as I've been inspired by different things. And I've decided to do a three part series. And the first part is called Existing in Photographs. And that's what I'm gonna talk about with you today, is what does it mean to you to exist in a photograph? Over the last 18 months, my life has incredibly changed when I became a mother. Um, my little boy, George, is, is now 18 months and he has changed my life in so many ways. Many that I just can't even comprehend. But I think one of the things that I've noticed about having a child is that it takes you back and you, as you watch your child every day grow and change and learn, you also start seeing within yourself questions that you want answering. You see things around you completely differently to how you used to. And so as I, as I started writing things down for this, for this kind of three part blog, I really started thinking about what it means to exist in photographs and why it's important to have photographs. When I first started photography, I, I must have been probably around 18 when I had my first DSLR and I loved taking photographs of people. It's what really has always inspired me is the people, capturing them laughing with real laughter, not fake smiles. And I love to be able to show them and it made them feel good. Wow, I look great when I smile. You know, do I really look like that? It's great. It made me feel great that I've made them feel good but it also made me feel good as well, being able to do that for them. As much as we all think or remember, we often can't. We often can't remember all of those amazing memories that we have. And when we look at photographs, when we, when we start bringing out these photographs, they trigger memories. And we can often take ourselves back into that time and remember things that we might not have been able to without those photographs. They're a really special representation of a memory and a beautiful one at that. Being able to have beautiful photographs of, you, of yourself, your family, and look at who they are and where they came from. Do you remember when your first family portrait was? When I look back, I realize that I was actually 16 years old, 16 before we had our first professional family photo shoot. I was 16 and I had two younger brothers, so I was the eldest. And that made me quite sad because I've always had a love for photographs. I've always enjoyed delving into the boxes, delving into albums and really just enjoying looking at photographs, asking questions, finding out about who I am, where I'm from, finding out about my family and who they are, what kind of things did they get up to when they were younger? Who were they, you know? And so we didn't really have any family photographs in our home. I think we had maybe a few pictures on the wall, maybe a few school photographs, but there were no photographs of all of us together as a family. 16 years old. It really hits home when you think about basically being a teenager and I have no photographs to look back on of my whole family together. Now, my first portrait experience actually happened because my parents bought a new car and with that car came a voucher for a studio. And so they thought, why not? Let's just, let's go for it. Let's go and have a family photo session. We've never had our photographs taken before. It's probably something that we really need to do. And so we went for this photo session and I will never forget that feeling that I had. We, it was completely different to the kind of thing that I do now, but I remember it for many reasons. We were all together, we were there all together, we made memories together, and we now have 
those beautiful photographs displayed in a book and we had a beautiful framed image as well and we had so much fun. I'm not really sure even to this day whether my parents really valued photography. I'm not really sure whether it really crossed their minds, oh you know we should really get an updated family portrait and, and have these images so that we you know we have all these lovely pictures of our family as they've as they've grown up together of all of our children. I don't think it was something that was important to them. But when it came down to it, when it came to actually having this voucher, giving somebody the opportunity to have a photo session, when they had this photo session, it changed their minds completely. It changed them completely. They, they were not really interested in images. They weren't, they just weren't. Was it something that they thought about? Was it something that was, was in their mind ticking? But when, they, when we had this experience, and when we actually went to view our photographs, that changed. When they saw those images, and saw all of us together, and saw photographs of us children together, and us children individually, but mostly of us all together, the value changed. The value of those meant that by having these images, we were going to finally have some family photographs of us all together. And my, as I said before, my parents had never invested in anything like this before. This was a completely new experience for them. But when placed with them in front of them, they realised the value of the importance of existing in photographs and of leaving that legacy for their family. They realised the importance. And so, I remember feeling so proud that day, I felt so proud, and inside I felt loved, I felt so loved, and I'm being completely honest in this, when we had these photographs, and we finally had this photograph on our wall, we had this beautiful, beautiful large framed image, and we had this beautiful book with the images printed inside, and I felt proud, I felt so proud to say to people when they came round to our house, come and look at this book, and come and look at our family picture, this is my family, and this is who I am, this is where I belong. And it, it felt like home. And it's a really, really strange concept. And until I really started thinking about why it's important to exist in photographs, I hadn't thought about any of these experiences. And it dawned on me how important it is. And I think from that moment, when I started enjoying photography, that experience really inspired me to photograph. It really, really did. And from two, around two years after that is when I really started to get into photography and I really started to look at my camera and, and look at what I wanted to capture. And from there I realised how important it was to take photographs of my family, take photographs of where I live and what I do and my friends and people I love. It really hit home. I loved looking at that family picture on, on my wall. I love looking at it. It was pride of place in our home, which at that time was in our living room above the fireplace. It was pride of place in the middle of the room. And I loved looking at that picture. It made me happy. And I felt like this was my home and these are the people in my home and it's the people that make it home. And so photographs and family photographs are a reminder of who we are and who, where we belong. And I really hope that I've inspired you today to really think about why it's important for you to exist in photographs too. Um, this is my part one. I'll be sharing part two very soon. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great evening.